Progress Production with your guy, Marquis Price. Go check out Tech Cyber Blog on the Move Progress website, you guys. Something that will give you insight on technology and cyber issues, cyber threats, cybersecurity, other digital creative things, you guys, as um, working to build things. I'm working to build um, this platform to help professionals and other businesses navigate technology and the cyber world. So you guys, today what we will be doing is we are going over what we worked on last time with the tech cyber blog and creating the SVG file within Ink, uh, Inkscape and then also making it into a 3D image. So we've kind of already done the last part. If you haven't checked that out, go check it out in the, in the video before this. Um, so now we're gonna open up 3D Blender because we've already saved the file for, um, we've already saved the file for the SVG and now we're going to open up in 3D Blender for those who have not used 3D Blender before you guys can go check out many different uh, other creators that have created within 3D Blender this is where I've gotten some assistance myself you guys can go check them out and just learn how to navigate through this now you guys already if you are first checking out this video and just new to the channel I am visually impaired slash blind so I have some usable vision and I will be zooming in for those who are visually impaired and also for myself because I have to zoom in in order to do my work well so you guys i will be zooming in and out and you guys can see what i what i how i navigate a computer so we're going to go to general and then we're going to i'm gonna leave it like this because i think this is a neutral i probably still need to zoom in a little bit more so i'm going to zoom in since this is the way that i need to see and what we're going to do this is the square that we just saw in the middle of the screen i'm going to make it big we're going to do a 20 and we're going to go another 20 we're getting the, the, the diameters of the square basically scaling it to 20 and what we're going to do is zoom out and I'm gonna zoom out on the square because now we have made the square super big and then we wanted to make sure it is above the space that it needs to be so what we're gonna do is change the location we're gonna go 20 there we go location has been changed and then we're gonna press the tab button because we're gonna open this this is a we're gonna create a shadow box I don't know if you guys ever create a shadow box in school we're gonna hold the shift button down get these points get this point right here get this point right here and then we're going to delete that so in order to delete we just want to delete the face so the face now it's become a shadow box and yep is so um so we are now in the box and what we're going to do is i'm gonna zoom out for you guys because i know it's super close not for me but maybe for you guys and we're going to go here we're going to click that um and then we're going to zoom back in and then actually we're going to untab everything and then what we're going to do is go over to the files go down down and we want to get our svg file so we want to import svg so you go to files import and then you see a uh, scalable vector graphic that's what svg stands for and it wants us to we last time we labeled our svg file as oh, we're not in the SVG file, so we're going to go into our SVG files and then we're going to click on Tech Cyber Blog because that's what we labeled it, right? Tech Cyber Blog underscore logo. All right, we'll double click that. As you double click that, you guys will not really be able to see where it is because it's so small. Everything's really, really small. So we should be out of the tab as well. And so if you go over here, to your right side of your screen and we want to want to come right here all right so if you go over to your right side of your screen these are all the scans we scanned five last time so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we want to increase the size of those scans right we want to make sure we can see what the scans look like so what we're gonna do is we're going to click on one and then this is how I scan scale my scans up I'm going to do 20 again it's not gonna be as big as the square this is something that you will have to um, get accustomed to once you learn blender double click that copy that for later and so also what we're going to do we want it we want to be able to make sure we can see so we're going to click 90 we want to make sure it's in the right angle all right so we're gonna click the next scan and we're gonna do the same thing this will be repeated several times and then click 90 right here 90 degrees we're making it 90 degrees same thing 90 calm 
down here. Copy paste. Uh -huh. And then we got one more. 90. Paste. Paste. Alrighty. Oh. Alrighty. So we have scaled everything, made everything 90. And then if we go over here into the screen, you will see Tech Cyber Blog posted the way. Uh, let me fix my mouse. I'm using my laptop, you guys. So it's a little bit more difficult to navigate sometimes. Let's see here. All right. One thing that we're going to do while we're in this process, I'm going to zoom out for you guys. One thing that we're going to do. Um, we're going to change the square color first. So we're going to change the square color first. Let's just say we want it to be, yeah, do we want it that dark? What color do you guys think we should do? Typically, yeah, that's a good one. So you guys see this, this is kind of in a 3D shadow box. We have it purple, the background, and we might do some like blue lights or something like that. But for now, what we're going to do is, I'm gonna move the light so that you guys can actually see it. So let's see, let's move the light up. And so what we're gonna do, we're going to, we'll just do the zero first, zero. And then I believe it's on the Y, so we'll do negative four. Yep. And then keep this right there. Should be able to see it. Uh, it does have, we'll fix this space right here. But what we want to do is now that we have this like this, we are going to make sure that we kind of uh, extrude the, the block, well, that's what we're gonna do, extrude it. So what we're going to do, we're gonna go down to geometry. So you go over here, see this, your ob object. Then you go to geometry, and then we want to extrude. We don't want it super huge. So let's zoom out to do this real quick so you guys can see this process. All right, check this out. So we're gonna do zero, zero, two. What does that look like? It extrudes it a little bit, that's good. And let's say, Let's see what else we want to do. Those are, we're going to keep it doing the same thing. Zero, 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 two. And we're going to, same thing, zero, point zero, zero, two. And we're going to, again, same process, point zero, zero, two. Same process. And like this text cyber blog, but we, we could make it point zero, zero, three or something like that. But I believe because of how I laid out the SVG files, some of that is connected to the other. So I'm, like connected to the other files. So it may not look as good as I would want it to be if I did point zero zero three. It might be broken up a little bit. Let's zoom in real fast to see. I don't like that size too much. So what we can do is 0 0.05. Let's see what point, point 0.05 is a little bit better. So we'll do point 0.05. I like point 0.02 actually. Let's do point 0.02, point 0.02 for each one. So we'll do point 0.02 because that way we can see it's an actual block. So we're going to extrude it to point 0.02 instead of point 0.002. Let's do that. And honestly, I could copy and paste like, but I'm just manually typing it in. Once again, as you guys see the lettering, 0 0.02. And all right, so we have our block, and then we want to fix our camera. We can fix our camera. Let's do that real quick. Fix the camera. What we want it at? Let's just do 90. We can zero, zero those in. And then look, this is what we can do. We want it to be, let's say we want it to the negative five. And then we, mm, yeah, so we want that at negative five, then we want this at zero. We can zero that in. Let's fix our camera. All right, and then we want the Z to be, let's just say three. Let's say three. All right, so we fix our camera. Man, it's, it's close, so we know we are going to zoom it out to negative 15. Let's do that. All right, so we have our tech cyber blog in our camera view. And then what we can do is we want to mesh make everything a mesh first before we join. So we're going to copy and we're gonna press on one of them and then highlight all of them. And then what we do is we'll go over to 
we'll go over to object and then we're going to go down to usually I have to locate it we're going to go down to let me zoom in because we want to mesh we want to go to convert to mesh so we're going to convert to mesh and then we're going to press control J actually on command J so in order to combine it so we're going to zoom out for you guys and I'm going to show you once you press this you see how these have changed now it's a mess and now we want to and then it converts and then as we're doing that I'm gonna zoom in so I can right click I'll right click and as I am right clicking you guys we're going to make sure our center of mass our origins to the center of the mesh that's how we want it to be in the middle of everything and then we can move this over now so you see we're going to just do zero and it's going to move over and so what we can do is we can change the lighting and we can do all of those great things to save everything but you guys got the basics of everything i will probably be editing more of this as you guys can maybe check some more out later maybe i will move the camera around different things like that um, so that you guys can see the animation make it vibrate make it maybe make some colors or whatever it may be but as you guys can see we have now converted our image into a from a svg file into a 3d format from an sgv from an sgv file to a 3d format and you can use this for your 3d format and now you have it for you guys another move progress productions with your guy marquee price coming to you with tech cyber blog you guys hope you guys are doing well make sure you go check out the links go check out tech cyber blog subscribe you guys share like comment next time all right you guys